gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the new speed presented to you by Lady Slack and MC Loy. Follow, follow the beat, follow the beat from the studio to the street. Info with the flow, keep you sharp and in the know. Sit back, relax, enjoy the news, follow. Rebels challenging authority from Juba to Bangi. Same old story of history repeating itself. Now it's Mr. Sava Kill fearing to be put on the shelf. Fireworks standing to boom blast and peace didn't last in the world's youngest republic. Which also happens to be Africa's second largest oil depot. When Juba is under attack, Uganda has its back. Our president sent 4,500 soldiers to keep law and order across the border. Now USA wants UPDF to go, this ain't Somalia or Congo, but President Museveni said they will remain there. Good news for the Chinese business affairs who invested billions are not interested in rebellion. Some people say the conflicts are tribal than Nuer and Dinka are rivals. But reality is much more complex, see the bigger picture to know what next. Africa's Winter Olympic dreams are strengthened it seems There is no snow in Togo but there are two Togolese in Sochi The tiny West African country competed in cross country skiing and alpine ski Other Africans included two skiers from Morocco and one from Zimbabwe Did you say Zimbabwe? Yes indeed, they sent their team to practice in the USA Just for braving the cold, I think they all deserve gold Ugandan scientists say the mountain of the moon is getting warmer every day. No more snow in Renzori. Maybe that's why there were no Ugandans in Sochi. This is a serious matter, not a reason for laughter. A problem that will not go away. A bill left for our children to pay. Snow is melting because the earth is getting warmer. It might be old news that the earth is getting abused. But we can still take action by reducing our pollution. And hopefully inspire wealthier nations. Every two weeks a language dies in the world, gone forever, forgotten by all. Often English is adopted, entire cultures abducted. In Uganda, we often hear parents say, I want my child to speak English anyway. But that's not a good idea. Why can't we have our own Shakespeare in Luganda, Runyankole, Lebacholi, or our own Britney Spear in Rutoro or Lugubarat? A mother tongue is who we are, not just some words. That's the message from our language boards. Across the country, communities are researching about the grammar and orthography, creating and revising alphabets, sowing the seeds for a future generation of writers, rappers, and poets. That's Uganda at its best when we value our diversity. Just like the ministry who made mother tongue education and national policy that was the news on the beat next week will be another hit still let us like mc loy reporting live and direct with love and respect follow the beat 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 follow the beat, follow the beat. Follow the beat.